Hey guys, welcome back. Easton Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to start looking at conditional probability. So conditional probability is what we call the probability of one event happening given that another event has already happened. So the notation for that looks like this. We have probability, we have A, this straight vertical line, and then B. And we read that as the probability of A occurring given that B has already occurred. So this is like probability with a little bit of foreknowledge. We know that B has already occurred. What does that tell us about the probability of A then occurring? So it turns out that we can calculate this by doing the probability of A and B occurring divided by the probability of B occurring. So let's keep that in mind and take a look at an example. So here's our setup. A GFI switch will turn off power to a system in the event of an electrical malfunction. A spa manufacturer currently has 25 spas in stock, each equipped with a single GFI switch. The switches are supplied by two different companies, and it is known that some of them are defective. So from company one, we have 15 total GFI switches, 10 of them are non-defective, 5 of them are defective. And from company 2, we have 10 total GFI switches, 8 of them are non-defective, and 2 of them are defective. So, in general, let's calculate some probabilities. What is the probability of a GFI switch coming from company 1? So that would be the number that came from company 1 divided by the total number of GFI switches that we have. So the total number that have come from company one is 10 plus five or 15 divided by 25, which is the total number we have. Now both of those are divisible by five, so we can get three out of five. If we wanted to work in decimals for this one, just to be able to more easily compare, 3 out of 5 is 0 0.6. So we would have a probability of 0 0.6, or 60% of the GFI switches came from company 1. Okay, so looking at the next one, what is the probability of a GFI switch being defective and coming from company 1? So this would be the number of defective from company one over the total number that we have. So looking at our table, the number that are defective and came from company one are five, and then the total number of GFI switches that we have is 25. So reducing five out of 25, we get one fifth or 0 0.2. So the number of defective company one switches that we have in total, 20%. Okay, and then finally, here's where we get into our conditional probability. So what is the probability of a GFI switch being defective given that it came from company one? So if we know the switch's origin, can we tell what the probability of it being defective is? So this word given clues us in to the fact that we are doing a conditional probability. So the probability of defective given that it's coming from company one. So that would be the probability of defective and coming from company one divided by the probability of coming from company one. So the probability of being defective and coming from company one, well, we just found that to be one out of five. So one 
out of five is our probability of being defective and from company one. Our probability of coming from company one, we found that up here to be three out of five. So we can place that probability here. Simplifying this complex fraction, that would be one out of five times five out of three. So we would flip the bottom fraction to multiply. Our fives would reduce and we would get a probability of one third or in decimal form 0 0.3 repeating. So about the probability of a GFI switch being defective given that it came from company one is one out of three. All right guys, that does it for this example video on conditional probabilities. We'll catch you in the next one.